Hola! Hello! Dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, each of you speaks his mother tongue. Also, each of you speaks another language or languages which we studied in school, college or university. And why do we study foreign languages? There are plenty of reasons. For example, to get a job in a top company, or to get a degree abroad, or as we do, to develop our public speaking skills. However, in spite of the fact we speak our mother tongue better than any other language, Sometimes we sound a bit strange using it. And this was a case of my university friend, Serge. Serge dreamed about studying abroad. And he got his master's degree in the University of Edinburgh. Serge thought, so, uh, thought about career in science. And now he's doing his PhD program in the University of Berlin. Serge has been studying abroad for almost five years, and yearly he comes back home to visit his family and friends. Thus, a few weeks ago, on holidays, we were sitting in a, in a pub in the center of Moscow. It was a typical Moscow pub representing British pub atmosphere. Muffled light. Many little tables for no more than four persons standing very, very close to each other. And hospitable bartenders recommending you to taste a new sort of a beer recently brought from Albion. The time was passing by, and in a few hours we were ready to leave the place. So Serge raised his hand and asked to the waiter, Hey, sir, check please. Check please. This is a phrase widely used in English speaking countries to ask a waiter for a bill. But when it is used in Russian gastronomic places, it sounds a bit strange, because Russians normally use this word in shopping centers or supermarkets. But when we are in a place where we could eat something or drink, we use another word. And could you guess which one? Okay. Now, <laughs> I, I'd like to help you and make a little hint. Let's imagine a stadium, a majestic football stadium. Dozens of thousands of men in the stands cheering on their favorite teams. 22 men running at the bottom trying to make a goal. And two enormous orange numbers to the right hand of you. Five, zero. Argentina, five. Jamaica, zero. <laughs> These two enormous orange numbers representing the score of the game. The score. Or more precisely, its translation into Russian is the word Russians normally use when they ask for a bill in a bar or in a restaurant. But my university friend Serge, after almost five years living abroad, told Czech. And his phrase, phrase hurt my hearing. And the hearing of the waiter. And the hearing of the man around us. That time, 
search signs is strange. But he couldn't realize it until I pointed it to him. I told Serge, I am sure that the majority of people in the hall thought you are from abroad because you used anglicism in your addressing to the waiter. And was it your intention? As you can imagine, it wasn't. This short story is to support my following idea. A foreign language is a powerful tool which could help us to find a job, to build a career, or to learn something new. For example, how to behave on the stage or how to speak in a public place. But sometimes it, it influences our mother tongue, which who our life is based on. And this influence could make us sound uncommon, strange, when we speak in a place somewhere in other in our motherland. That's why I encourage all of you to not forget your mother tongue, do not seem a stranger in your own home. Thank you.